Hi, I'm Megan. I'm Mary. And, and we're, we're American. American. Welcome to our food adventures. This week for Weird Food Wednesday, we're trying coffee tea because caffeine. We're trying sweet leaf coffee blend tea, vanilla flavored, and uh, we found these at Target. I, have you seen them anywhere else? No, I haven't seen them anywhere else. And the reason we picked this as a weird food is I drink a lot of coffee, I drink a lot of tea. Can't say I'd ever combine the two into no. one drink. I'm, um, I'm more of a tea drinker myself. I don't really drink that much coffee. I drink a lot of coffee. Yeah. Caffeine doesn't know. I'm up for days if I drink coffee usually. Now, as far as like a coffee blend, I think the weirdest thing I've ever had with coffee was coffee and Coca-Cola. They, like, I can't remember what it was. They had a Coca-Cola black. It was like a weird coffee Coca-Cola. <laughs> I'm serious. This existed. I think it was like it sounds awful. Oh gosh, I want to say like 2008. I, I was in maybe Canada. earlier. Maybe earlier. No, it was um, it was around the time when Lizzie, our oldest sister, started college because she really liked it. I thought it just tasted like flat cups of cola that you added coffee to. Lizzie, you're weird. She is weird. So we love you, Lizzie. <laughs> I'm trying to remember in Germany if it was coffee and beer or if it was cola and beer. Yeah, I tried one of those. I can't remember which it was. It was either okay. either of those, like... I think it was coffee actually Coca-Cola and beer. Okay, because coffee and beer would be dangerous. Mixing alcohol with caffeine, not a good combo. Irish coffees. Yeah, that never said that was a good idea. What do you think of when I say coffee tea blend? Probably Foxtrot. There was a comic strip where it was Paige trying to stay up and study. So Peter told her to mix instant coffee with black tea. Let's just say she drank a little bit too much. Yeah, I kind of think the same thing. Uh, do you think it's going to actually taste good? Because it says it's sweet. It'll either be really good or really bad. I don't see there being middle ground. You don't see there being middle ground? Which one do you think it's going to be? I honestly have no idea. I'm a bit worried because it does contain a bit of stevia, and stevia can have a weird aftertaste. I I don't know if I'll like it or not. Um, I do drink a lot of black coffee and plain tea, so the sweet might be something that I don't like just because I'm so used to drinking black coffee. Yeah, and I don't really drink coffee, so it might be a little bit weird to blend tea, which I do drink with coffee. Not really that big a fan of coffee. Okay. Smells like something. Smells like vanilla ribose. Ah, there you go. Really? Mm-hmm. Ribose? Or okay. rubios, not ribose. Rubios. Rubios, however you say that word. It's African. I think it's a red tea. Okay. You ready? As pretty as I will be. Cheers. Cheers. what the aftertaste is. Is that more... It's stevia. I know, but with like coffee and tea. I get more coffee and stevia. I don't really get a whole lot of tea. The first note is tea, and then it kind of degrades See, into I, coffee and stevia. It is a weird vanilla, and then it, you kind of taste coffee, and then it goes tea, and then goes coffee. I think the vanilla was a bad um, thing to add to it. It makes it taste like they tried to put lemon and failed. How many coffee beans out of five would you rate this? One being it's worse than chewing a plain coffee bean. Five being I love it so much it's going to become a part of my morning routine. I think I would give this a two. It's not really awful, 
it's not something I would ever reach for again. Um, like I said, I'm not really a coffee person, so even though it has the tea, it's just, it doesn't, it's not for me. I'm going to give this a two as well. I didn't, I definitely err more on, I don't like it. It's definitely not something I hate. It's just, I think I would have liked it more if maybe the stevia was pulled out of it. I understand the stevia kind of gives it more of a health vibe, but it just, it doesn't work. Mm -mm. And I don't see the point in putting in stevia if you're already sweetening it with cane sugar. Yeah. So. That's it for this week's Weird Food Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Join us next week as we try another weird food. This week in honor of midweek. <laughs> in honor of midweek. Wednesday. In honor of midweek. We are trying coffee tea because it's the middle of the weekend and you just want it to be <laughs> the weekend. It's the middle of the weekend. I didn't realize that Wednesday was in the weekend. Okay. All right. Come on. Come on. Do we shake it? That's like the oddest way to shake it ever. No, not the oddest. <laughs> um, take away your privilege. Okay. I give it back for one second. <laughs> okay, okay, we're good.